So we just held a meeting here at Chatham House where we brought in some of the leading experts both on Russia and on Ukraine and on the West's relations with those countries in order to consider some of the options that are now available to the West in response to what Russia has done in Crimea. Uh, we've heard a wide range of views from people with very different opinions on exactly what the best way of uh, handling Russia is, some with very deep experience of that country. We have former ambassadors in the room, we have business leaders, uh, we have people who studied various aspects of Russia, including the economy, the military, and diplomacy. And we think we've come up with a number of policy suggestions which are both realistic and effective. We've discussed a number of different options that the UK and the West as a whole have to respond to Russia's military actions in Crimea, uh, diplomatic and political and even extending to military. Now, I wouldn't want to go into too much detail about exactly what the conclusions we reached were, but there are quite a wide range of options which are realistic, both in terms of being, uh, the West being capable of implementing them and in terms of them being taken as real measures by Russia. Now, some of the uh, topics that you've already seen discussed in the media, such as visa bans and sanctions, uh, were discussed in detail and uh, means worked out of making them actually uh, bite in Russia and make Russia uh, feel that there are costs and penalties to be paid for this kind of action. Uh, in addition to that, there were other measures within the, the realms of both the OSCE, uh, NATO, the EU, uh, basically a broad range of different options that are available considered from both the Western and the Russian points of view because one of the essential points that's been missing from much of the public debate so far is how all of these measures will be perceived and reacted to in Russia as opposed to in European and North American capitals. It's hard to say exactly what the outcome of the EU heads of state meeting in Brussels tomorrow will be. Now we know that each EU state has its own specific vulnerabilities to Russian pressure and therefore there may be some states which are not willing to join in strict measures against Russia. However, what we've been looking at is some of the lowest common denominators. Some of the things which everybody will agree are unacceptable in terms of what Russia has done and some of the measures that can be taken across the board and agreed to by all of the member states. So we hope that there may be a positive outcome which does make the point to Russia.